Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Can, can you smell it, ladies and gentlemen? Altitude, altitude, baby, all right. So at this point, in my running shoe testing, I've put so many different brands of running shoes on my feet that as soon as I slip my, my, my foot into the shoe, I can sense that inner cavity, how comfortable or not comfortable the shoe is going to be. Um, I'm getting really good vibes right now from this Salming Trail 5. Like, it's nothing like I've ever slipped on. Now, I haven't, I haven't taken a single step in them yet, so I don't know about the ride or the cushion through the midsole, but as far as how my foot feels just sitting inside the cavity of the shoe, mwah, oh, it feels really, really nice. And I was a little concerned about the tongue of the shoe, but so far as I'm lacing up right now, you're watching it on your screen, it's just feeling good. So, all right, Sweden, we shall see here taking them out on Gray's Peak. All right, just getting my, getting my vest on here from Raid Light. And uh, if, I just have to say, if Salming's running shoes are anything like their running shoe boxes, we found a good pair of shoes here. The quality, the build quality of their running shoe boxes is second to none. Oh my goodness. And they've got some good information here that maybe I'll run you through in the second video publishing today. The first impressions for these Salming Trail 5s. Uh, it's got some pretty neat uh, charts here and graphs, but I'm telling you, it's like, I like quality. You know what I mean? It, you can tell when a company puts a lot of thought into every step of their uh, production process. So, all right. Enough of that, let's get going. I'm just gonna take 12 ounces today. Uh, I know a lot of folks would pack a lot more, but for this type of run, I've done this run so many times, a lot of times I won't even carry water on this run when I wanna go fast. Uh, you just zip up, zip down, but today I'm gonna take a little more time and uh, do a lot of filming for you along the way, so. All right. And yes, I finally, finally get to try the spring energy gels, excited about that. Is it rubbed in, YouTube family? Probably not, but that's all right. All right, let's go. Hanging out with the mountain goats.
All right, yes, sir. Oh, it is good to be back on Gray's Peak. For those that don't know, this is my go-to training grounds for the Pikes Peak Ascent and really my training in general for ultra running. It's an hour from Denver. I just love it. It's like a perfect amount of vertical. I think it's like 3,800 feet. I'll confirm that once I get back down to my car. And uh, just hanging out up here with the mountain goats, eating uh, spring energy gels. This is my first, it's not even really a gel, everybody. Uh, this is, it's called Spring Hill Aid. I tell you what, I'm excited. It's It has the consistency a little bit similar to uh, those baby food pouches. Not entirely, but similar, which is just a little easier to get down into the stomach. So I am very excited. A vlog fan uh, sent me these, so thank you so much. Oh my goodness. So I'll get you all the stats for the run once I'm back down to the house. And here we are. Uh, I can't believe, just keep believing if you're injured, you will heal and soon enough you'll be back to your normal training like I am now considering I was, I was in, whoa, considering I was in a boot a week ago just because I was I was walking that line just trying to be careful and sure enough patience being careful listening to the body you will come back as well all right time to go down oh yeah the Salming Trail 5s fascinating fascinating second video first impressions of the Salming Trail 5s all right Load up. Oh man. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh my goodness, we're talking about a real run. This is crazy, right? It's like running around the grass soccer fields over and over again. Like that's a run for sure. Like it's a good run, but it's grass soccer field. So it's so fun to be able to talk with all of you, especially since it was Gray's Peak today. That's my go-to mountain because it's like 55 minutes from my front door to the trailhead. So it's close, it's good for the family, good for regular work. And I would love to travel to the San Juans, the Elks, the Collegiate Peaks, you know, every single week, but I gotta be realistic with my time. And so Gray's Peak and Tories, which, so there's two 14ers that sit right next to each other. I think you can see Tories there, there in the background in this shot you're looking at. And I'm probably gonna do Tories later this week as well. So they sit right next to each other. It's just a perfect spot to get ready for the Pikes Peak Ascent. And I do wanna mention real quick, by the way, did I already give you a keyword? If not, we're gonna go with altitude. That's right, altitude for the keyword. This spring, I'm not even gonna call it a gel. It's, look, listen to these ingredients real quick. Mango, organic basmati rice, organic banana, organic honey, uh, coconut water, orange juice, non-GMO, lecithin, coconut oil, vitamin C, citric acid, sea salt, green coffee beans, and caffeine and mint. It tasted amazing. And uh, I didn't really get the full benefit from it because the run today, and let's break that down. So usually I start putting gels back. I need to do it earlier in runs, but unless I'm going like 18 and 18 miles and above, I usually don't need a ton of gels, but this hit the spot today. So it was 13 miles or 21 kilometers. It was a little more vertical than I remembered. I thought it was 3,800, but it was actually 4,400 feet of vertical gain and loss. So it's 1,300 meters of vertical gain and loss as well. And you're probably wondering like, wow, Seth, that's a big vertical day. And I would agree, it's a good solid day. But historically, that's a very uh, even keel day for me up in the mountains. I've done that mountain actually twice in a day. I just do a lot of big vertical runs. It's like what I love to do. So it's not completely outside my wheelhouse, but I do know, like, I know what I need to do in order to get ready to race well at the Pikes Peak Ascent. I could go run the Pikes Peak Ascent anytime, but to actually compete and to compete for the top, 
I need to train really, really well. So this is the beginning of that process. And again, you're gonna see a lot of grays and Tories in the next really six weeks before the race down in Colorado Springs. And as far as how it felt today, so it was 10, 10 to 15% of running through snow, which made it quite a bit more difficult. And it was hard today, I'll just be honest. Like I felt good, but it was my first time at altitude really in two to th two months. So it was hard, you know, I'm not, I didn't, I didn't run the entire way. I probably ran 90% of it, hiked the other 10%, hiked through a lot of the snow. Uh, so this just, it's, you know, it's so exciting. And this is the beauty of your training uh, is that when you're coming back from an injury or you're coming back from a, a, a break, your first runs back, those are gonna be your hardest runs. You can only go up if you're consistent. And that's the ticket. You gotta be consistent in your training even if it's running, you know, two or three miles, two or three times a week, like that is better than nothing. And it's all about that consistency. At least that's what I've found with my training. And that is the beginning of the process today of just being consistent. And the ticket for me is to get above 12,000 feet of vertical, or sorry, 12,000 feet of elevation twice a week. That is my ticket. That is what I do. That's what I did two years ago and it, it worked out really well. And I'm, I, I just scratched the surface two years ago. So I cannot wait to get back to high altitude often in this next training block. All right. And before we wrap it up, question of the day, how was your run today or yesterday? What did you do? Was it a workout? Was it a long run? Maybe it was a cross training day. Let us know how your training went as we continue through these summer months like it's happening like now's the go time at least for us again in the northern hemisphere it's like such an exciting time after what i feel like was a fairly long winter i don't know about you but maybe it was because of the injury and i was stuck in that pool for so long so and yes second video published in today 5 p.m mountain time first impressions of the Salming Trail Fives. All right, sound good? All right, we're gonna wrap it there because guess what? I'm actually tired. It's amazing. Us runners, we are very fortunate to be runners because I think, at least for me, I conk out like that when I'm running at higher volumes, high altitude, like it's, I'm so tired, I gotta go to bed, but first we gotta edit this vlog. So anyway, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you.